Hello. Today we will animate jumping animation for this ship and later you can see I have a workshop where you can join and animate the pig. I will be giving you feedback. Places are limited. Be sure to check it out. Great. We have our ship ready. So I'm normally starting by filling the timing just by moving one the main bone. So I already separated the timeline here. You can see I will be moving it in a curve web path. But for now, I will just do the Y axis. Okay, now let's key it, move it down, anticipation. We are going up, jumping. Let's do a jump very high. And then landing with some recovery. And then we are back. Let's fix some curves. Let's add some rotation here, back. So I can feel the weight of the ship. It's pretty much going to be the same curves. Let me frame it. I will disable auto so it doesn't go back when I do some clicking. It's good. Uh, importantly, we need to offset it. Two frames is enough, I guess. Maybe I need to add one more frame where it uh, like drags down. Because when we go down, the body can still be um, staying behind. Not that much noticeable. Yeah. So this is what I get. I don't concentrate on feet at all. I need to understand that this is the part where he's saying, yay. So I need to make sure if I have enough time for that yay and will it be readable. I think I need to um, make longer at the top. It's not correct um, considering physics, but at least we will have some snappy animations and we have time for saying yay. So the next comes actually this, um, like exaggerating this movement by using these two bones. So otherwise the character will not feel flexible and will feel stiff. Pretty much we are just um, complementing the same movement. Let's see what we have here. Mm, I might start lowering it down quickly because I'm thinking maybe it's going down quickly with his back legs. So he does the jumping with his back legs. It's a type of jumping. You can do a different way. Maybe he's uh, jumping with front legs or whatever you think, because there might be a, clearly multiple ways to do the jump. And here I am making it jump.
So this is the moment where I feel that this is the part where he will be pushing with his back legs. And since back legs are pushing, front legs are more relaxed and they will be going up the first. If they go up first, they will be landing first. So I need to make sure he is uh, rotating down to catch him, his body with the front legs. So maybe I need to um, change this uh, graph curve to make him lean downward to catch him. Something like this. I would like to add some uh, bouncing here. Maybe that will give me feeling of his fur bouncing. I will use this bone. When he's jumping, maybe I can bring it down and up. Yeah, something like this. I still don't like it perfectly, but I think it's enough for this character. Let's see what we can do with the head. This is the next big thing I can animate. Since the back part is going up, I'm thinking maybe he, he should be something like this. Because it's like he's uh, jumping with his back part and then this will actually uh, catch him. Something like this. And here he's going down and back to idle. Maybe here I can make him drag his head behind. And let's fix the curves. Yeah. Uh, I don't like how he's bending his neck. It's too artificial. Maybe he can bend it quickly and then relax. So we say yay when he is actually relaxed and enjoying himself. Let's see if we can make it work. You can see now he he's he, here he's uh, lowering his back now he's pushing it and the moment he's going up with his spine with his head we need to make sure that lower back is going down to comp compensate that movement and it's not going down fast enough we also need to make sure it's it's happening Reducing a little bit the power here. It's, it's like looking like he's hitting. No, I don't like how he's rotating his head here. Since it is easy to animate a chain, maybe we can do it now so we see how emotions are transferred. How emotions are transferred.
I don't see him actually uh, yelling. Yeah, he most certainly screaming like an animal, but, which is not good. So I need to transfer happy emotions. I have the, the mouth shape is actually that's making it stretch like that, not happily. I mean, we'd still have a smile, but it's not good. So maybe we can do it with his face. We do have happy eyes. So maybe here, let's see if we want it fully closed or partially closed. Let's see. Let's close it here. And then, yeah, much happy now. Maybe we can close it back here. And after a few frames, we just open it up. Mm, I actually don't like how I rig the eyes here. You can see we have problems here. They are transparent. So ideally, you will need to uh, scale this down. So it's not obvious to do, but it's this is how it works. So it actually helps us by just showing that transition, softening things. But this is not obvious. So if different animator is doing it, he might be really surprised how it, it works. I do like the similar uh, rig with the pig, which I have done, which I like. We have uh, bones here and we have bones here. Uh, these bones are not supposed to blink, but we have, again, uh, closed eyes dead. So this is much more uh, flexible and much more understandable if you work uh, or with different animators. You don't need to explain how things work. And the reason I'm concentrating on face, I really want to see if face can help me to solve this emotional uh, experience. Otherwise, um, I need to um, pivot and understand what else I can do with the body to make it look like he's jumping happily and not just jumping to scream like an animal. Let's see if we can make him more happy. Yeah, I think I can work with this. I don't have any other option to make him look cuter um great let's now start to position our legs i will start from front legs seems they will be easier since the rig is easy the purpose is easy right now hmm i think i need to shift our weight so we have the y axis here but to make this work, I need to shift our legs. So he's going jump to back with back legs. This won't work if he's doing like this because he will jump to the left upside. So we need to shift his weight here, I guess. Let's see if this works. And then he can come back and touch the ground, go back a little bit, and let's see. It 
and see if we can make our legs work. So the, the reason for that, I want to uh, move his front legs up so he propels. Don't worry about uh, being them being uh, simultaneously up and down. I will fix it. I just want to see how this works so far. We lean on this these legs. I'm scaling them. This is the moment where we can actually release them. Yeah, something like this. I still don't like his face. It's too tense. The neck is short. Okay, let's go forward. Don't want to concentrate on that. I think it's something that I can't fix. Maybe overall animation will, will help me with that. So let's uh, go and fix each each leg one by one. So I want to give a little bit offset to them. Maybe this one goes one frame before and this one one frame forward. Uh, actually the opposite, I guess. Here I will use um, ghosting. For that, I want to place the slots inside the bones. Um, the reason for that is that they will be uh, ghosted. I mean, you can call them onion skin, whichever program you were familiar with. But now when we hit this button, it will show only selected. And if we select the bone, it will also show the container um, slots being ghosted. So when we shift our weight back, we, it, it allows us to raise his front feet. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to do that. The body balance would be wrong and he would fall. So now you can see that we are shifting our weight and yeah, let's see it. See what curve we're creating. I don't like this moment. I have problem with slot order. So this should go in front of it. Oh, 
Let's see what pauses we can achieve with that. Uh, I normally go with keyframing every pause because um, it, it takes much less time to do that than just finding some nice uh, curves in the graph editor. Hmm, not liking how it goes forward this moment. Something like this. Let's leave it for now. I want to see this leg. I don't want to hide it behind the fur. Yeah, something like this. I will try to separate the axis, I think. Um,
For the other leg, I will just make it uh, one frame. Start one frame later. So anyway, it's not visible that much. Or maybe one frame earlier. Just to make sure to show it. Yeah, so to make this interesting, we can land him a little bit different, uh, like look at position on the ground and then adjust his feet like he's standing back. Mm, and maybe I don't want to offset all the legs. Let's make the front legs uh, land differently. Maybe he is landing a little bit closer to the position and I won't actually make this leg land a little bit later Now we have our front legs um, shifted to the center, which we can do when the body adjusts and we have our weight on four feet and moving back, we can do a very short step forward. I'm hitting Control Shift J that will pass positions from the setup pose and make sure that we are back to the idle. Yeah, something like this. And when one and finish, the other starts. We have our shadow, we can make him <clears throat> uh, fade out. We can make him fade out, stay there, and then we can fade in back. I think we also can try to scale it. Something like this. Yeah. Bah. Okay, very little things remaining. It's 
starting from tail, we are almost there. It goes down. That means we need to make sure it's uh, dragging behind. Maybe we can do some bouncing here. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we have. Yeah. There is something wrong happening there, but it's it's not that much noticeable here. Let's just finish this animation. It should not take this much time. So this is another thing I would suggest you to pay attention. Some animations are not that complex that, that needs too much time for you to spend. I would suggest you to save your energy for mm, the whole project so you don't uh, burn out on one or two animation and then just give up or maybe deliver poor quality for the rest of them. Great. What else? Ears. I think this will be much, much easier right now. Great, let's see. What's setting? What's setting this one? Maybe this one I would offset back. Um, again, I have the wiggling effect. I want actually to make it bounce a bit, but this actually makes takes too much attention. Yeah, this can work.
I will also use the scale here to play with the volume. We have some sharp things here. Let's see. Okay, and we have two more bones for the fur. No, I don't want like rotation. Do we miss something? No, I think no. I already spent a lot of time here. So once again, guys, if you want to experiment with such animation and do it for other character, uh, such as we have here, the pig, which is already rigged, and make sure to book a workshop here. We have already some participants and uh, in a week we will be, yeah, checking what everybody else got. So you will be actually receiving the rig, animating it, and then uh, the video call, I will be checking everyone's work and sharing that video with all of the community.